Okay, go. Hello, my name is Jim Swetman, president and owner of Home Power Systems, and you've just invested in your automatic home standby generator system. Now it's time to think about maintaining your home standby generator and the proper way of doing maintenance. The video here today is a short video to talk about how the proper maintenance is done on your new Guardian home standby generator. First thing we want to do, of course, is order the right kit. This is one of our 10 kW generators. We're going to make sure online, homepowersystems.net, we order the right kit. This just happens to be the 5630. Look online, make sure you order the right kit. Don't want to order the wrong kit. Things get messed up. Here is the kit. What does it include? The kit is going to include an air cleaner to make sure that has to be replaced at least once a year. Spark plugs, also very important. Spark plugs are also included in the kit. Oil filter, one of the long-term Generac oil filters. All customer stuff. Make sure it's all factory stuff. Don't go out and buy something that's not factory. We ship the Generac oil filters. It's all in a kit. Again, make sure you order the right kits. And most importantly, instructions that come with it. The instructions tell you in detail how to do proper maintenance on your Guardian home standby generator. Now we'll show you how to do some of the maintenance very quickly. First thing that we need to be aware of is safety is always important. Now when you open the hood on your generator, it's going to be in the auto position. We want to make sure we shut that in the off position and pull the fuse that's right here because you do not want the generator starting while you're doing maintenance on it. Next thing we need to do is open the hood on the generator or the front cover. This is the newer model. It just slides off like this. The older models, there are four screws here that have to be taken off to pull off the front cover. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the engine oil in your generator. What's great about all the Guardian Generac generators is the oil drain tube is right here. Just take a regular plastic container, unscrew the front of it, and go ahead and drain your oil out just like this. Next thing you want to do is put the cap back on and change your oil filter. There's an oil filter that comes with your kit. Unscrew the oil filter, put your new oil filter back on, and then go ahead and fill up the unit as well. Just pull off the oil drain cap. Go ahead. It comes with a fill. Go ahead and put in your synthetic. 5W30 is the standard oil that's required for this. Check your owner's manual to make sure that you have the right oil for the weather conditions that you're working with. The next item that you want to work with is, of course, the spark plugs. The spark plugs, according to the owner's manual, make sure they have the proper gap on the spark plug as well. This 10KW generator comes with two spark plugs. Take that off. Spark plug wrench in there. Check your gap. Spark plug goes here. Spark plug goes over there. Make sure they're nice and tight. Put the spark plug cap back on there nice and tight, and you're ready to go. One of the last steps that we want to consider is, of course, the air cleaner replacement of the generator. What you have to do on this model, this is our 10KW model 5502. This one, there are just two screws that you have to remove at the top here, and this plate comes off. And your air cleaner will actually come in this way, or you can install it back over this way just like that. Undo the clamp back there, pull out the old air cleaner, and put in the new air cleaner. Extremely important that we understand exactly that air cleaner is important for proper functionality of your standby generator. The air cleaner locations for our 12 kW generators all the way up to our new 20 kW generators are located right in this location here. Just open this up, unscrew these. Your air cleaner is right here. Simple replacement. Go ahead, put the new one in. All done. And the last thing that you want to do to make sure that it remains operational, put it back, put your fuse back in, put it back in the auto position, close your hood, and you're ready for another year of perfect operations of your standby generator system. If you have any questions at all, you can always get on our website, homepowersystems.net, and thank you for this opportunity to show you the proper maintenance of your Guardian home standby generator.